All right, let's get this thing started. Peace, everybody. Peace, Kasha Ra. It's hot. Man, it's like every summer it gets hotter and hotter. That people energy is waking up. I say the more black people wake, the more black people becomes aware or conscious or trying to break this system, the hotter this sun gets. The sun reflection of your soul. Of the overall collective consciousness, in a way. Man. Alright, so what are we talking about? As you see above, Alter Carbon. Alter Carbon is the Netflix series about cloning, having different meat suits. And this, this started in 2018. I am behind. I already knew about this show, but I'm just behind on trying to sit down and watch it. So right now I'm catching up. I'm watching season one, and I'm on episode two. And this episode two kind of hit me, struck me in a way, where all the AI conscious minds sat down on the table. And you basically, basically can look at this as the Archon sitting down on, on the table. And uh, before I get into that, so more than 300 years in the future, society has become transformed by new technology, leading to human bodies being interchangeable and death no longer being permanent. So this is right here is talking about, as you can already know, people are trying to become, build these AI structures already right now so they can put their subconscious into these AIs, which you can already see right now in our present time. Because none of this is new. Right. All this technology has already been taken. Altered. Wink, wink. Altered carbon. Because those who have art, who don't have carbon need a alternative to live forever. So they need AI. They need false bodies. So that's why it's called altered carbon and that's why you mainly see so far i have not seen a black person being altered but um <clears throat> i'd be support i would not be surprised if they were extracting the carbon from a melanated being however you know altered carbon itself is something since they cannot since someone who does not have carbon cannot exit and leave this realm so instead of someone who does not have the type of carbon dying and just always being recycled and forgetting who they are as well why not just interchange into a new body a fake body a, a, a body that is ready for you to use and keep all your consciousness stored in a data bank because you know you're just if you don't have carbon you're just collective energy down here anyway matter of fact i don't even think most of them forget because it's like if they hate us in one lifetime they're gonna hate us in another lifetime so and Takashi Kovacs is the only surviving soldier of a group of elite interstellar warriors, right? And even then, this is still talking about interstellar beings, right? Where this technology comes from somewhere else. Where, as you can tell, a lot of our, and not a lot of our technology comes from other beings, other spirits informational downloads so these space interstellar beings do not die they leave a marker chip their consciousness in a chip where someone can implant into another sleeve and start over kind of like a video game a memory card but since we have, but since beings that don't have the 
correct. I mean, you could look at this as like, wow, you know. Are these being are these is, is this for the beings that does not have the components of interstellar carbon like not e not even interstellar but uh black matter or uh, hyper hyther nether you know beyond the interstellar you know beyond you know things that can go even further beyond it's kind of, so when I look at this, it's like, okay, they're trying to upgrade themselves to the point where they can eventually. But um, like I said, I just only, I'm only on episode two, but uh, you know, these episodes. The episodes, is, uh, so they got to, let me see. Of course, you got a black man somewhere, but. Even when you look at these images and break them down, you got the snake on a tree inside our cranium. You see the Euroboros, the infinity, the dragon mouth is the vagina, the tail is the penis, the surfeit tail energy. The penis gives the energy and the vagina takes it in and transmute it to something new. That's why you always have the dragon eating its own tail constantly. Because it's always creating the uh, wound. It's always creating some new energy. So you got the man and the woman. This is the whole Garden of Eden. Like, I tried to explain this to several people. This is what the Garden of Eden is representing. It's all scientific information. But this is look like uh, season two, and I'm not on season two. But you know, as you saw, as you see that he is cracking, breaking down, breaking down the melanin of the man, carbon. Of course, he got the one eye symbolism. But I'm not only season two, so. But I mean, just looking at it, and then you know, we got the red. You always got to have some type of red. Uh, let's see what we got here. And yeah, the whole actually the intro Dutch and shows the, the you know the, the Eve and the serpent and the wings, right? Venus, Lucifer, Lucy, for the first light, Venus, the woman. Coming down with the knowledge of information, the spiritual energy. Yeah. Then you got the um, hexagram, which is a five point star. It's a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. The hexagram. You can basically, it's six point, basically, a six point star. You can make a six point star from this. Or a five point star. I think it make a five point star. But um the hexagram, this is the sacred geometry. Sacred geometry from this from that symbol. If you ever look at sacred geometry, you know what I mean. The hexagram. Also it's like a DNA marker, you know. So what is the point of my video that I want to show you? The main thing, the juicy tidbit so far that I have found looking at this. I'm not even on season two, but I'm looking at this like, whoa, I need to hurry up and get on season two. You got the blue light on them. You know, the blue lights, the crystals, the electric energy, the L's, the L's, the, the angels. The angel L's of L's, blue represents that. You know, you always get the red and blue going against each other. In the Bible, angels are the blue, devils are the red. Notice how the black man is in the blue, and this white guy over here 
it's in the red so and the white guy is this is him so I seen that I look at the scene already so that's him in the red so of course you got that symbolism going on red versus blue once again showing you that hey we are the It's back here. Oh yeah, I remember the scene. So they actually show this too, cause you know once you once you transfer your if once you transfer your consciousness into a new body, this is the top of a line military grade bodies where they're already built muscular and health, already pre downloaded fighting skills or whatnot. So so also you know you can pre download your fighting skills so get the top of the line bio suit meat suit with all the downloadable information of of your consciousness you basically you know you're the super social so you can fight 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 when your body suit is killed you can train if uh if you're if your light draft was not destroyed in the process, but the light draft is in the neck region, which is something I need to bring up too. Uh, let me see. Archer carbon light drive. If I can find it. Uh, let's see yeah right here so basically it's right there sitting on your it looked like it's sitting near your 33rd vertebrae as many of our people will be talking about your now the now river is your spine your 33rd degree going up the ladder till you reach the cranium the crown and this is where you put your light disc right there and you know so if your body gets shot or whatever or killed as long as your light this is intact your 33rd degree structure you're fine they can transfer it over to a new light suit and you can remember you remember everything so so let me show you something on my tv and wonder if I can make this full screen. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's as big as I can get it. But it's fine. So this is pretty cool because this is like the Archon sitting on sitting on the table talking about humans and why it's this guy right here acting like the humans. So the black guy reminds me of a. Hold on. The black guy reminds me of a Nazi. You know, the spider. A Nazi is that black, is that spider. You know, you probably know about him on American Gods. If that's the only place you heard of him. But if not, hopefully you. Hopefully that's not the first place you heard of a Nazi. But um But what I do like about this is the black guy is representing chaos, right? Representing the guy with the wisdom, which of course <laughs> I'm not as surprised. So let's get to where this starts. Hold on, let me uh push pause. Let me turn my light off. So probably can't see you. <clears throat> Hold up, a little crit. That probably helps. Uh, let me start this over. Yeah, that, that's just really bright. I 
there is, I must restore my standing with my brothers and sisters in the AI who have chosen me. Yeah. Yeah. The main thing is watch what the black guy says because we represent that Anansi energy bringing forth that dark trying to bring forth like why are you trying to be like these humans man? He found humans fascinating. He's trying to be like a human, just archon. He wants to study them. Serving up humans. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get into the business of serving up humans. I like it. So. Yeah, so there we go. That's what I want to show. All right, come on, man. So this guy, this guy, Poe, he wants to be like these humans. He actually, he actually, he actually wants to uh, study, be like, trying to be like them, but he's not them. He's something beyond them. And the black man knows it. He's like, why are you trying to be like them? We, we better than them. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop trying to down, drown, downgrade yourself. You're an AI being, right? You're the controller. You control all this. Humans created AI, but the AI controls the humans, right? Who are the controllers of humans? Who is the AI mastermind of over humanity? Those who wants to be a part of the system. And the black man, you know, he like, yay, look, you're doing it all wrong. You're doing it all wrong. So yeah, he, he reminds you of a Nazi, the Nazi spirit, like, dude, you're doing it wrong. Oh, did I mean to do that? Alter Alter carbon sleeve. So they got a cartoon which I am not aware of. Uh, the AI. Oh, let me make this smaller. Alter carbon AI hotel. He wants to be like the humans. He called this the Raven Hotel. Or what does Ravens represent? Yes. Look at what Ravens represent. GAI cast. Uh, let's see. Oh. It's not showing me. I want to look at the AI cast. Trying to bring their faces up. Mm. Oh well. There. Here you go. So they call him Dick. <laughs> they call
call him Dick. What a wonderful name. Because the black man tells the truth, he's a dick, right? Don't listen to that crazy black man, he's a dick. But yet, he was like, we're AI, we're, we, we control all this. Why are you trying to be like them? They got these alternative bodies that they must plug into an AI system. We we plug we are the ones who keep their inf their more memories in the storage space and transfer it over for them. We are the gods. We control these humans that want to live forever because they want to stay in our system. They don't want to die. So let's give them what they want. A false reality, a archer carbon based body. Yeah. Uh, deceased. Is he deceased in the movie or in real life? In the, uh, let's see, by a lot, oh, they must be talking about the movie. Yeah, okay, Dick is an AI formerly running a hotel, Dick runs Prick Up, a VR experience establishment. Dick considers humans to be a lesser form of life, but doesn't mind exploiting them. What does that sound like to you? That's it. Damn, they really did not write too much about him, huh? <laughs> Appearances since Fallen Angel. Now, this is the other two things that he played in. Fallen Angel, a Clash of Bad Night. Interesting. Who is he, by the way? Damn, that's the only thing they got about this guy? Alrighty then. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to do, who played, let me see, let me see. And let me just be more clear. Let me type in character before they show penises all over the damn place. Silly Google. Let me push pause just in case the wrong thing pops up. I want to make sure the right thing pops up. I don't want Facebook to flag me. Alrighty, so I found who he is. He is James R. Bayless. And all these movies he played in, apparently he loves to play as Dark Angel. Or something dealing with angelic the elves, all these all the great ones, right? Lucifer, supernatural, travelers. Do play in all these things. Yeah, he must be hip to something though. Clash by night, fallen angels. Man, blood ties, supernatural, the X Files. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude must be hip on something. He playing all these roles talking about the great ones. The great old ones. So he knows something. That's what's up. Yo. That's what I want to show though. Supernatural. Alter Carbon. And there you go. There we go. So there we go. And of course the woman in the red, you have to end it off like this. You can never go wrong with a woman in red. Follow the red, the woman in red, and she will lead you to the rabbit hole. And all these purple all around her. Or follow the man in red. But usually the woman in red. But looky here, though. They had to put purple all around her, right? Purple, purple, reddish, blue in the background. Hmm. 
Look like he got blue on too, but he got the blue background all around him. I just look at this color coded. I like, you know, they they do this for reasons though. Certain certain colors in the background. Oh, she got green on. Okay, that's what that is. She wearing green. Interesting. So I didn't see season two yet, so I don't know what to say about that, but. She, Interesting that she got on green and he had blue. And they they gave the the white her the white girl red and they gave the white guy red as well. So interesting color choices. Hmm. All right. There you go. This my little this my video about ultra carbon so far. And I'm going to make another video pretty soon. All right, caught you, bro. Over and out.